square bills and treble hooks. Do I really need to take off brand new hooks on a bait that I just bought and put new hooks on it? Is it really that important? And that's a myth. That was a stigma that we had for a long time when it came to hard baits is that bait manufacturers would just put junky hooks on their really good baits. I mean, tournament winning baits that everyone knew came with hooks that would break. I really did break a hook one time with 12 pound test, hung it on a stump, probably 12 or 13 feet of water. I trolled over to the stump, got right over the top of it, started pulling on it. And I assume my line broke. And then I feel that crankbait come up to the top, broke a hook off with 12 pound test. So those are the old hooks. I think the bait manufacturers realized what was happening and said, hey, look, we have to put better hooks on here. Why are we selling these $9 lures and then expecting the people to take the hooks off immediately? So when it comes to square bills, this is one that I think is really important for a couple reasons. The first being the fish key in on that bait and they just crush it. I mean, the impact from the bite can bend out a medium wire hook. Also, you're fishing around a lot of heavy cover, rocks and wood, and those hooks do take a beating. So I like to go with a heavy wire hook anytime I'm square bill fishing. Unless, two scenarios. I'm throwing like a really small crankbait, like a, this is a series one. This is kind of an old school square bill. I still keep it in my box. It's just different than your 1.5s, but this is a series one. It comes with little bitty size six hooks. I don't fool with that hook. I throw it on really light tackle. And I also throw the 1.0. This is around heavy fishing pressure areas. And I keep those fours on there and that's a medium wire hook. But all the other times I change to a Gamagatsu magic eye hook. Now they make that in two different types. They make it in EWG and they make it in a round bend short shank. So we'll start off with the round bend short shank. I throw all my oversized square bills, you know, my 2.5s, 2.0s and up with that magic eye round bend and that is a heavy gauge hook the reason that i like a round bend on a square bill is it just seems like when they get it better and they're smacking at it it just seems like that round bend has a better hookup when those fish are really keyed in on it now with other like lipless crankbaits and things like that I like that extra wide gap, but for this, I like a round bed. Now the downside of a round bed is that those hooks are gonna dole up quicker than they would on an EWG style hook. So back to the 2.5, I'm throwing a size two. That's a really big hook. So it's got a bigger point, bigger barbs. I can get away with running that hook through wood and rocks without doling it up multiple times throughout the day. That hook is so big that it's just a lot more durable. Now, when I go down to a 1.5, this is where I get a little bit uh, particular. I go to an EWG on that 1.5. It's the same hook, it's just a different style. It's a Magic Eye by Gamagatsu, and it's a heavy wire hook, but I like the EWG on the smaller square bills, the 1.5 size to be exact, and that's really the only one, because that hook just is a little bit guarded when it comes to reeling it around wood and rocks. Now, the reason why I go with the round bend on the bigger hook and the EWG on the smaller hook is because this has smaller points, smaller barbs. It tends to get beat up, and that smaller point on that littler hook tends to roll over. So if I'm going size two and up, I like a round bend and it, it just tends to be able to take the damage better. When I'm going smaller, size four and smaller on square bills, I'm going EWG. I still like that heavier wire hook, the Magic Eye by Gamagatsu, but I just think this hook tends to be better around uh, wood and rocks from getting beat up. It's just more durable. I have to change hooks less throughout the course of the day. So that's my square bill cranking setup. Now, one time, I do not think it's necessary 
to change your hooks when square bill fishing is when you are throwing balsa wood square bills. Now this is a shallow running balsa wood crankbait. These hooks are the ones that were put specifically on the bait when the bait was thrown in a test tank. And, and anyone that's ever thrown balsa wood knows how complicated it is to tune your bait when it gets out of tune. The reason we are throwing balsa wood is for that unique action. You really can't get that action out of plastic. Now, if you were to grab 20 balsa baits and 20 plastic baits, you know, 20 of those plastic baits are gonna probably run good. Balsa, it might be like 10 of the 20 are gonna run good. So they have to specifically test each bait. You're gonna pay an extra penny for that, but the whole reason that this bait is in my box is because this bait cannot make the action that this bait can. Can this bait be a pain when it comes to tuning and how, how easily it can break, it's wood. It's just, it's not the most easy bait to throw when it comes to fishing it around heavy cover and fishing it around fish that are gonna you know tear it up. If, if I'm catching a lot of big fish and it's not hard to get a bite, I'm going plastic all the time. But when I really need to grind out a bite, I feel like this is gonna get me more bites. But everything else about the bait is kind of a deterrent when it comes to why I wanna go and throw it. So for that reason, I do not change the hooks. I do not wanna mess up this action. That's the whole reason that I'm throwing balsa is for that unique action. So I do not change the hooks. If they get dull, I know what kind of hooks these are. But I'm not beefing up my tackle. I'm not going to a heavier gauge hook and, you know, bigger line and, and a bigger rod. I'm throwing this on a fairly limber rod. I'm going 15 pound test and not any heavier. And I'm going to keep these regular medium gauge round bend long shank hooks on there. And when they get dull, I know exactly what hook this is. And then I'll change them. But I'm stock hook from the beginning until there's a need to change. So that's, that's basically it guys. That's my whole setup when it comes to changing out treble hooks or leaving treble hooks the way they are. Let me know if this video helped you guys and I'll see you on the water.